2020 marks the 20th anniversary of U2's year 2000 release of All That You Can't Leave Behind. Naturally, it's no surprise they'd choose to mark that occasion with a series of deluxe editions of the album, releasing, in fact, on the exact day, October 30th, that the original album came out 20 years ago. If anything surprises me, it's that the band seems to have skipped the chance to repackage 1997's pop. Nevertheless, All That You Can't Leave Behind was an outstanding entry in the U2 discography, so I'm sure a deluxe treatment is more than welcomed by the fans. So, which set is right for you? In this video, I'll walk through what's included in each of the different versions, and I'll make my recommendations for which version different kinds of fans should buy. Once you've decided which one is right for you, be sure to look for Amazon ordering links in the description below. Let's start with the most basic version, and that's the remastered album on its own. There's a good chance even casual U2 fans have this in their collection already, likely on CD. If not, this is probably not the version you'll want to pick up. I don't actually recommend it for anyone. Not on CD, at least. There's a better option for everyone coming up. However, if you're a casual U2 fan that's more into vinyl these days, you should probably take a look at the 2LP edition. Odds are you don't have the album in this format, let alone with the added bonus track of The Ground Beneath Her Feet. This version of the album is the most affordable for vinyl buyers, and also, unfortunately, the one I'm going to recommend if you prefer vinyl over CD. I'll talk more about why in a few minutes. Next up is the version of All That You Can't Leave Behind that I'm going to recommend for most U2 fans, and that's the 2CD Deluxe Edition. This is a much better choice than the single CD edition because for not a whole lot more money, you're getting a second disc worth of material. What you get on that disc is a bit surprising, though. It's a 13-track selection of live performances from the Elevation Tour in Boston. Now, what's surprising about that is that it is not a disc of B-sides and rarities, which is the route most bands go for deluxe versus super deluxe options. Of course, U2 pretty much did the same thing with the 2-CD deluxe edition of The Joshua Tree, so I guess this is typical for them. Regardless, for the price and the extra live material, this is probably the best option for most casual fans and CD buyers. Also note, the deluxe 2 CD edition is not available on LP. Vinyl fans kind of get snubbed on this one. Now let's move on to the super deluxe editions of All That You Can't Leave Behind. There's a pretty big upgrade here from either the deluxe edition or the basic album edition on either CD or LP. As I already implied, in addition to the remastered album, the 5-CD super deluxe set also offers the full 19-song Boston Elevation live concert spread across two CDs. There's also a fourth disc containing, you guessed it, a collection of B-sides and outtakes, nine to be precise, and then a fifth disc packed with 11 remixes. In addition to the music, there's a double-sided poster, a 20-page booklet, and a 32-page hardcover book featuring previously unseen photos. Priced at around 100 bucks, it's easy to recommend this edition for more serious U2 fans. Although the complete absence of any video content is a disappointment, I still feel there's enough value for true fans. Finally, let's talk about the Vinyl Super Deluxe Edition. In terms of content, you get exactly the same music as is included in the 5 CD edition. The difference here is it is spread across a whopping 11 vinyl LPs. Six of those contain the original album, the full live concert, and the collection of B-sides. The remixes, though, are essentially presented here as five 12-inch singles. I thought that was a cool touch, but some fans may have preferred a bit more consolidation. Your mileage may vary. And of course, as you probably expect, expected, this set carries the highest price tag as well. At north of $200, it is no small investment. For that reason, I only recommend it for the hardcore U2 fans that simply must have vinyl. Alternatively, if you'd prefer vinyl but are willing to mix your media to get the most bang for your buck, consider a combo purchase. To scratch your vinyl itch, pick up all that you can't leave behind on the 2LP album-only edition. Then, to collect all the rest of the music, the B-sides, remixes, and live tracks, pick up the Super Deluxe 5 CD edition. This strategy could save you as much as $100 while still filling a gap in your vinyl collection. Again, it's a shame this set comes in small medium and large for CD fans, but no medium option for vinyl buyers, but a combo purchase may just get you all that you can't leave behind. Pun very obviously intended. 
So there you go, five different versions of the new 20th anniversary edition of All That You Can't Leave Behind by U2. If you're thinking about adding one of these sets to your collection, don't forget you can find Amazon links down in the description below. And by the way, be sure to leave a comment to let me know what you think about the different versions being offered and which one you're choosing. Once again, my name's Kyle, and this has been Track by Track, music reviews, news, and commentary. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.